Okay, so next we'll be looking at special pages. Special pages um, enables you to either ask for covers, so either at the beginning, at the end, or beginning and the end. You can ask for inserts, that's if you want uh, the machine to add a special paper every now and then, you can configure it here. Or exceptions, that's when you want the special paper printed. Next, we'll be looking at booklet layout. So the machine can do your booklet layout. If your layout is already done, if you're working in InDesign or any of these things, you want to make sure that the booklet layout is disabled. In this case, if we want, for example, if I have just a regular um, page set up in Word or what have you, I can enable it and the machine will transpose so we'll know, for example, that page 1 goes with page 12, page 2, so on and so forth. Okay. I'll enable that. In booklet options, depending on whether you have a professional finisher or not, you may or may not have the option to fold or fold and staple your booklet as well. So this is where you come to add it in. Scale to new paper size is off. So whatever page setup size that you have in your document, the, the machine is going to keep that page size, that paper size. So if you want to switch that, you want to make sure, if, for example, if your page layout is on 8.5 by 11, but you want your booklet to come out on 11 by 17, you want to make sure that this is where you'd come to switch it. Um, what else do we have here? Well, that's essentially it here. If you want to find out where you're up to with your supplies levels, you can come here and just click on supplies levels. You'll see where you're up to with your toner, your drum cartridges, and whatnot. So if you want to keep an eye on this, this is where you come. Otherwise, that's how you print to your multifunction device.